What's your vision for how partnerships can help to create a sustainable future? Partnerships are a way to explore new concepts and new problems, new solutions. Uh, so, uh, you know, sustainable development is still something that's relatively new. We haven't really figured out very well yet how to do it. And partnerships allow various players from business, from NGOs, from science, from politics uh, to come together and explore new ways, explore new uh, ideas. I think that is the main value of a partnership. As a partnership driver, what inspires you to make partnerships work? Well, on the one hand, uh, it's nice when they are effective. And they are mainly effective when, when, when you get the right kind of people together with the right kind of commitments, the right imagination, the right drive, um, and, and different roles that actually work well together. Uh, so sometimes partnership can be tremendous fun because you feel like you are really at the cusp of developing something new and, and you are really having an impact with your partnership. Um, what kind of commitment does a partnership take? That's a really important question. When you go into a partnership, it should be with a purpose in mind with a focus, with a question that we want to answer through that partnership, with a problem that we want to solve, with a solution that we want to implement. Um, it's, it's easily possible for a partnership to remain at a level where ideas are being discussed, but action isn't being taken. And that only happens when the different partners actually implement lessons from the partnership in their own work and commit time and money to the result of that partnership. So if you go into a partnership, you should commit to what that partnership is about. Does the UN have a significant role in supporting partnerships? Absolutely. In a way, you could say the UN is the biggest partnership of them all because it's a global partnership of all countries in the world and it's a global partnership of all the different players in the world. So it sets a model and at the same time it is the convening place for partnerships to happen. I think actually that the UN is very effective in creating partnerships, in moderating partnerships, in vetting new subjects and in helping partnerships and other structures to get a handle on new problems. What are your hopes for partnerships after Rio Plus 20 and for REAP's work? Continuity for me is the, the first point. Yeah, Rio is a checking point, and it's a moment where we can check how far we are with partnerships, what we have done well, what we have done not so well, what has worked, uh, what do we want to upscale. Um, I think Rio gives the opportunity to learn from the last 10, 20 years of partnerships and then uh, my expectation would be that we transform those lessons into new, new ways of how partnerships work, maybe new partnerships around new subjects. Um, and certainly for REAP, uh, one area that we will increasingly focus on is using the internet to moderate the production of uh, information and the creation of knowledge. Because partnerships very much are about creating knowledge, like actually most human processes. And, uh, and this knowledge needs to be gathered, needs to be shared, needs to be reviewed, needs to be applied. And there is a role in how the internet is developing now, there is a role to do this in a very open way. And so for REAP, that's a role where we see a lot of space, a lot of need, a lot of people coming to us and saying, can you help us with linked open data? Can you help us with communications? Can you help us to bring information together and make people turn it into knowledge and understanding? Um, it's a very exciting field and that's certainly something that we will go into much more. Thank you.